Welcome to my brand new YouTube channel, Mixed Girl POV, where I share my point of view on what's good. Happy New Year again. Welcome. Please subscribe. Please hit that like button. Please comment in the comment section below. And also, please share this video. Let's grow together. Your channel name brings up what? Let's talk. I was debating if I should address this controversy or not. But after some thought, I figure that if I address this one time, then maybe that can count as me addressing this for anyone who may, you know, be curious about it in the future over the name of my channel. Recently, someone who was participating in a live that I participated in decided to tell everyone in the live chat box to Google the name of my channel. A few minutes later, someone typed in, oh no, oh, don't do that. Once I was done participating in the live, I went back to that part of the live chat and I noticed these comments. Now, a little while back, an early comment that I got on one of my early videos the person encouraged me to Google my YouTube channel's name to see what would result. I did, and I was appalled by what I found. Going back to that person in the live chat who encouraged all of this, what they were doing was alluding to the fact that apparently, in a certain world, my YouTube channel's name can be linked to a certain activity. He, or I believe it was a he, was pointing out something that I had learned from that earlier comment. Apparently in the world of pornography, this term mixed girl POV is a thing. It's some sort of popular term used for people who are caught up in that porn life. I never had any clue that those three terms put together would be a popular phrase in the world of porn. How on God's green earth would I know that? I'm not into the world of porn. And the thought to Google those terms before I created my channel, never crossed my mind. I just wanted to, I just searched in YouTube to make sure that no one else had it. Uh, but going back to porn, I don't watch it and have never participated in any production of that kind of material. So, you know, I, I'm kind of clueless as to what goes on in that world. I thought about the idea briefly when that earlier comment that person had suggested that I should change my YouTube name. I thought about it and I decided to keep the name of my channel just the way it is. And here's why. When I was brainstorming about what to call my channel, I wanted my YouTube channel name to be unique, different, you know, but I wanted to somehow tie some of me myself into that name. What aspect of, of myself should I include in my YouTube channel's name? Hmm, maybe the fact that I'm, I am an interracial person. That might be kind of cool. I believe that I offer a unique perspective based off of my worldview. I see the world through my personal experiences, just as you do too. Some people have walked and are walking in my shoes, the shoes of an interracial person, where it's, it's kind of like not being, where you're not able to be fully accepted into run one group of anyone. I liken it to being like that square shaped puzzle piece that won't quite fit into that round 
hollowed piece of the puzzle. No matter how hard you try, you know, you might try to, to make it fit. It, it just won't. You just have to kind of accept that you're kind of different, even though you're the same. You're, you're human just like everyone else. In the end, we're all humans at the end of the day. We're all brothers and sisters at the end of the day. I also wanted to include the main point of my channel, and that would be to share my point of view about various topics and things that I'm passionate about, that I have an opinion about. Hence, the name of my YouTube channel was born, Mixed Girl POV, POV standing for Point of View. Why should I have to change my channel's name. I didn't create it knowing that it can be linked to a certain pastime. I created my channel with that name like a hundred percent. I did it with a hundred percent good and clean conscious, never to be linked to that pastime. And, you know, I'm not passing judgment on, on anyone who, who, you know, if that's their pastime or if they produce or act in, or I, I'm not passing any judgment here. Please hear, please hear me when I say that. Since I created my channel with 100% good, with a good and clean conscious, I can continue on moving forward with my new channel and the name that I have originally created for it. I am me, accept me or not, the decision is yours. Take me or leave me, but I hope that you'll accept me. I hope that you will know my heart and know that I have nothing to do with that past time and that I would not knowingly try to link myself to that past time either. I honestly didn't know and that's the plain honest truth. And as of this moment, I will not change the name of my channel. I will continue to, to be me, to just do me. Haters have stopped by my channel and have said some things, but I will just be me. That's all I can be. That's all I know. I want to say thank you so much to each and every one of you for your support of my brand new channel. I sincerely, honestly, appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you so much. I hope that this message won't be misunderstood or I, I hope it won't be misunderstood or that negative may come from this. I just wanted to have a heart to heart with you about my, my, honest intentions when I, when I created the name for this channel. I just want to be real with you for a moment so that you can understand so that anyone else who may have a, a question or may want to insinuate certain things that it's not right. It's not right. But, but to each of you, thank you. Thank you so much. Much love and many blessings to you in this new year as we continue to grow. Thank you, thank you, thank you.